Let's go Red Sox. Let's go Red Sox. Let's go Red Sox. Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. We are here next to my skeleton farm, just hanging out. I have to admit some big failures on my end. Usually when you have videos and you build something, you put it in the video. But I had a little issue with life. I was uh, kind of taking some me time. I was streaming from Mysticraft, but working on this world uh, kind of on my downtime so I could relax and stuff. So there is a lot of progress done in this world. But I did not touch this room, which is the skeleton room, which is what I said we were going to work on last time. Um, so we are going to design the skeleton room. But... I need to show you what's been going on. It's been changed a lot. I'm probably being in diamond armor for the first time. I don't know if I was or not. Well, we got skeletons that we go kill and get a whole bunch of that. Oh, that is new. Yes. Oh, what the poo? We um uh, have something that has a purple. And we'll go in there in a second. So I've been uh, collecting those, some of those. All this hasn't changed up here. It's it's all the same. It's I haven't actually done anything here. I think I know what I'm gonna do in this room though, um, because ultimately, seeing that we got this and uh, we got skeletons galore, I'm gonna go catch one of these skellies, throw them somewhere, and make a. Um, creeper farm right in this area also so I can have a record store because um those of that don't know me in real life I am a big time musician and even went to college for music so um that is what I have done all right that noise you heard there <laughs> well first was the doorbell and then that was my daughter leaving i'm the only one home right now so uh yeah <clears throat> i have to make sure i know where she's going who she's gonna be with and for how long yes i'm one of those annoying dads but uh when you have kids you'll understand completely She's lucky to be able to go outside. <laughs> so, I'm, I joke, I joke, I joke for real, for real. So what I was saying is I'm going to make a creeper farm over here. Nothing huge, nothing to get a huge amount. Well, I, I can't say that. I might make something big and just have a room of records because I'm a musician. I love records. I had thousands and thousands of vinyl when I was younger. And man, I, I miss holding the vinyl, the smell of it, and oh, I even like the snap, crackle, pop it made the, of the uh, needle rotating on the record, you know? I mean, I, I prefer not hearing it, but it just gave everything a nice feel. So, I made this, but first, I'm going to show you what else I made. As you see, I got the downward thing. So this goes up to something. We got the the throwaway here because a lot of this crap comes with stuff that we don't really need. Um, so let's see if stay. I got the upward one, and this will be surprising when you get up here too. I'm sorry. Um, see, things have changed completely. I'm looking in the wrong direction. What is that? Is that a toilet? Is that a toilet bowl? Uh, it even has water come off it. No, it's not a toilet bowl. By the way, this is where it ended up being where I come and go for the skeleton farm. So I'm going to make some sort of, I don't know, skull face here. I don't want to, I'm going to have it up on the air. I'm not going to mess with the, with the, what is this, a pond? Too much. <laughs> what is this, a pond? I, I enjoy helping people feel better about themselves. It makes me feel better about myself. And it's one of the few things in life that makes me feel better about myself. Is helping out other people. So that's, that's my goal from now on. I'm going to start helping people out. 
do my best. Come on, I can sleep, right? You've seen all this. You've seen all my veggies and stuff. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm still harvesting and um, see, I got the full and I'm trying, I'm trying to get these all cooked up. You see what I'm doing? I should switch them out now, but I'm recording a video and you don't want to watch me do that. Nope, nope. So we cut down a whole bunch of trees over here. Or it's a bunch of trees over here so we can make a whole bunch of pistons and stuff and There's a lot of iron and uh, we needed to make a lot of uh, Yeah hoppers And this is a farm I saw initially From cub fan, but I'm not sure That cub fan made this I mean cub fan Created it. You know what? I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna look up right now. Hold on. All right, guys. Yes, it, Cub Fan did come up with this. Unless he said it in the video, I doubt he wouldn't have wouldn't have put it in the description. Uh, it wasn't down in the description as somebody else's build, so I am guessing that he came up with this. And that does sound Cub Fanish because he's pretty awesome at things like this. So. What do we have here? We have kelp. Lots of kelp flying around. Flinging around. So let's go down there. I'll show you what's going on. All the way down. We've got kelp, then we got a layer of pistons, then we got a layer of observers. Once the kelp hits three, it sends out a signal and pushes the piston. That's how that happened. And now it floats. So I have one, two, three, four five six layers of that going on and then I had to put on this layer right here uh, right there this this layer right there on the top part half slabs and made sure everything else was full filled in water wise above that and um, put water on it so it would drain towards the center and this the water stopped right on the edge where this glass is that goes down the whole thing so the kelp breaks rises gets pushed over into the center thing and this is a collection row that goes like that so to connect the observers to the pistons all you gotta do is put a row of blocks behind the pistons and put a row of redstone on top of those blocks let's see if I can actually see it here yeah those those are right behind the pistons and the observer blocks are right above it so there is 15 in a row times six rows so what's that 60 right 15 30 oh no that's 90 that that makes more sense 90 per side so that's 180 pistons 180 observers takes a crap ton of um stuff to make it but let me show you the output. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go down the regular way. <laughs> Screw the stairs, right? That takes so long. And I got feather falling on, I think. Hopefully, yep. <clears throat> All right, so, this, the kelp gets pushed out over here, falls into this hopper, and then goes into here. Once this, Cart gets full, which shouldn't be actually too long. Let's throw a couple more in, help it along. It sends a signal to this comparator, and then it sends a signal there, and it lets this sticky piston pull back the little um, fence gate here, or fence, just plain old fence, and lets it go. And it starts going around in circles. And what happens is it goes around and around, and, and eventually it hits here, this <laughs> I so don't do rails. This detector rail, that's what that is, detects a signal when it is empty. Or it stops detecting a signal when it's empty and it turns the track around so it goes back up into this position. So a couple of more and you'll see what I mean. They'll, they try, the um, minecart will go around in circles and what happens is over on this side, that was a good jump over our ear that was the even worse jump <laughs> and i'm yep jumping pretty well now forget jumping over there is hoppers okay so that thing is full so now what it's doing is dropping one thing into here you see that it's dropping one into there it cooks up 
all of those into this. And once they get full, you just go like this. And you have the um, crafting table right nearby. You just go like that. Make make the things into kelp blocks because kelp blocks are awesome for what reason? They are reusable um, power. Coal is not unlimited. This is unlimited. You can burn and make as much of this as possible. So you're not wasting anyth anything by cooking stuff now, which is awesome. So I like to cook a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm a cooker. So yeah, and I cup van coming up with this farm. Oh my God, this, 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 everybody should be making one of these for um, their worlds. It makes things so much easier. And it, and what you do is you AFK in here. And I just lit down the floor. I have a bed there just in case I wake up at night. And I have a place to put all my stuff. And I just hang here. And, you know, it, eventually you'll have a, these double chests filled with um, the kelp. And you, the burnt kelp. And you fill it up like I did with the blocks of kelp. So, then what you do, you put the blocks of kelp up here. And then you hit like that. And then what happens, it drops into hoppers. As you see, the amount goes up every time the thing goes by. It's dropping uh, blocks of kelp in there. And you use the block of kelps and it goes into here to burn more kelp so you can have more fuel. An amazing farm cup fan, an amazing farm. This I should have shown building it, but I was basically following him step for step from his video. And um, like I say, things have been going really bad in my life lately and I've had a lot of things on my mind. And I just like put all content creation on the side. I am sorry for that, but sometimes you gotta take care of yourself and I needed time to take care of myself. So I'm taking care of myself and playing Minecraft is part of that because I love playing Minecraft. Minecraft is a pretty awesome game sometimes, you know? Sometimes it gets a little burnt out like, but hey, that happens with all games. What I'm doing is I'm just waiting to see when this thing's done. All right, guys. So now that I showed you that, why would one need all that kelp to burn? Because we have lots of stuff. I'm getting a double chest of stuff. That means I'm going to be burning a whole bunch of stuff to make other stuff like netherrack into nether brick and or yeah, nether brick. So let me show you what uh, I've been building. Let's go to the nether. This is the main portal to spawn uh, right next to my farms where I have the enchanting room. This goes to a village. I haven't labeled it yet. This goes to the desert that I farm. So one of these days, Sheep Machine and I are going to hang out on stream and I'm gonna just sand 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 just so he can be excited all day long with the sanding yes sanding all day long I'm gonna do that one day for you sheet machine one day soon because I need a lot of sand because I like to build a glass I'm gonna design this hall somehow all right you're not supposed to see that it's, this is the portal to the skeleton that's to the ocean which you did not see earlier and what the Christ Thing is this thingy majiggy all right we're cooking nether rack with those dry kelp things unlimited unlimited power oh my god unlimited power is unlimited <laughs> how's that for a philosophy unlimited is unlimited so I'm putting some more of this crap in there and it almost all fits in there because I am trying to get a whole bunch of these because I, at first I need a double chest of just these then I need a double chest of nether brick then I need a double chest of nether brick stairs then I need a double chest of nether brick cast labs then I need a chest of nether brick fences then I need a... Ch I'm a... F 
I, I hate myself sometimes, but I'm, I'm not like planning on doing this like real quick. Um, this is gonna hopefully the series is gonna last years. I plan on keeping it around for a long time, and sometimes I may walk away from it for a while for burnout and because I want to do other stuff. But overall, this series is gonna be a series. All right. So, uh, you don't need to see the village, um, don't need to see the desert. Let's go back to the ocean. All right, we're at my ocean area, and um, I was gonna make a kelp farm right here, not a kelp farm, a trident farm right here, and have a thing down there to look, sucker in the, what are those things, drowns, put the drowns, uh, they're being a pain in the behind so uh, They're not they're not Spawning as often so I don't like so I might do something on a river instead but I'm out in the ocean because I wanted to do some certain things and I can kind of see what I've been doing uh, I've got some paper. I've got a whole bunch of buried treasure that I went after. I got two hearts of the sea. I did this. I'm sorry. I did this all off camera, but I'll be doing this later on on camera too. Um, it's just like I say, I needed some time to do stuff. So I haven't built anything out here, but there is definite plans out here. I'm, I will be having an underwater, underwater city. Okay, so I do have to make a boat. There happens to be a sea temple right over here. And I think I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Obviously, I'll, I will take it over. I will kill the big guys. I will kill the meanies. Um, but whether or not I'm going to drain it, I probably won't drain it. If I do make a farm out of it, it will be the bubble farm that you can put. You can put the um, soul sand on it now and let the things get pushed up to the top. But that, that's... We'll see what happens. Uh, making maybe a trident farm uh, up here. There's a ship up here. Oops, let's see. And I'm... I'm gonna put a couple blocks on top of the mast of ships I've already checked out, so I know that ship's already been checked out. So I, I'm gonna do that just so things are easier, because it's real pain in the behind to you know continually go after the same treasure, and uh, so this area has lots of potential. But let's go back to try and figure out what sort of design we want for it. Plus we can get a whole bunch of bones. And I'm thinking bones, bone blocks might be <clears throat> one of the blocks to use. I mean, it would make sense, obviously. So we're gonna, we are, even though I've done most of this video just hanging out and uh, riding around, we are gonna do some actual building in this video. You know, I never did explain how this uh, setup works. This is Il Mango Super Smelter. Basically, you throw in the fuel, the fuel comes down. I've got to be careful because there's a big drop there. I got to remind that. And it goes down into uh, the back of the furnaces. And the input goes into this and then into these. And that's basically it. Then there's a row of hoppers underneath these to put the stuff into this chest. And that's basically it. Just lots of hoppers. Um, there's some weird redstone to keep everything lit because this is about the biggest furnace array you will have like this. And that will say lit. I mean, you can chain this together with others, but it's the best one. I mean, look how fast this thing goes. And now I have people calling me. And I don't know your number. I screen you. Sorry. For the yes music in the background. Yes. My ringtone on my telephone is a song from the band. Yes. That would not surprise you if you know me. Yes. You can't get any more positive than that. And most of their music is positive also. Now, I changed my texture pack to have kitties as pictures. I haven't mentioned that, but there's kitties in random places. 
I have one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love kitties. Fluffy kitties. Kitties of all sorts. So. I've been doing some work down here. Um, I've been getting, gathering materials. Oops. I'm, this is where my vines are to make like the, um, the mossy cobble and the mossy brick because I need lots of those. Uh, I've been making the double chests of stuff. So once it's done, I label it. So I'm working on the cod, working on that. Um, so that's what I've been doing down here. And I got a pretty hefty amount of crap. A sheep machine. It was somebody I met in Jan.com's community. She is a streamer too. Follow her. Uh, Twitch.tv.jan.com and I will say she is the only reason why I even bother to stream right now. So if you like my streams, thank her because she is the one that gave me the motivation and the confidence to do it and she is awesome in many ways. All right, so this sheep has the name Sean. Sheep Machine, awesome dude from the Pillow, pillow Fort. Jandon comes community. Um, actually, one of her main people. She, she, he, he does the um, emotes for her. And uh, like I say, follow Jandon Com. If you're a friend of mine and I find out you're not, I will personally come over to your house and kick your ass not really but sean is alive sean will be immortal and on this world forever nothing can kill him except for maybe a lightning bolt can i do that with a trident too can't i hmm <laughs> no i'm not gonna kill sean don't worry all right let's go check out the um the skeleton farm all right I don't make nano farms, so I'm not a huge, I don't use a lot of bone meal. So I'm thinking of making this area up of bone. Let's make a couple of um, bones. I forget how to do that. Um, bone blocks, um, bone blocks, 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 bone blocks. Did I just mess it up? Isn't this bone blocks? There's bone blocks, yes. Bone blocks. There we go. So we need some of that. Um, so let's just throw a couple of these down. Do we want them like? Th th we want like the columns to be like that, probably. And uh, you know, do you want a stripe of them going across in between each one? But what else would work with bone blocks? What's a good block to work with a bone block? Oh, let's see. Dirt, cobble, no. You know what, I, I might just make this the actual colors of the skeleton itself, which would be these bone blocks, maybe some um, concrete, like light gray concrete and normal gray concrete. Uh, that means I need a lot of freaking ink sacks. All right. All right, as you see, I've come up with kind of an idea. And it kind of looks like a um, skeleton face a little bit, or at least an easel, evil face. And I changed out the thing so you can see them dropping. I guess I'm going to get rid of some of these extra blocks on top and decide what I'm going to do with the walls and stuff. It's not going to be too much more fancier than this. Um, I've also just realized I'm going to need to do a... <sighs> Storage, storage area. Maybe I'm gonna do a um, so this thing, uh, item separator too. I don't know. Be kind of a pain. I'd have to do it underneath there, which is and I, now I got lava everywhere. <laughs> and I tried to put lava in his nose, but you know, guess what? The bad guy here does not want lava in his nose, so he's got water just in case. I don't know. Playing with lava is dangerous. There's my trash can. He's got like a boil. That's his trash can. Hey man, I got this thing growing out the side of my face, and that's where he throws his trash. 
So this thing fills up pretty quickly. I'm not within range right now, so you can't really see it. Let me get a little bit closer. Um, and you know, the, the gun, next guy will come and push him over and they fall, eventually fall. And for the most part, it's a pretty good farm. I'm like up at 88 levels, which is a little too high to be like showing off how many levels you're getting for <laughs> killing these things, but it's pretty good. Uh, so the reason why I got the mole over on the side of this guy's face is uh, because the this crap which uh, I don't need at all the arrows and the bones yes the the shoes and stuff yes so I'm throwing away the bows also so I just come over here and yeah you know how to throw away things it's part of life so that's getting there um not sure what to do with the walls and the ceiling yet, but I'll get something figured out quick enough. So we're back. I am doing some very fun stuff. It's called, I decided to make my room made out of obsidian. And now I'm farming obsidian. Yes, one of the most spectacular things you can do in all of Minecraft. Is, is farm obsidian yes I love doing this and there is no sarcasm whatsoever in my words right now none none whatsoever yeah yeah none all right so it's been a couple of weeks since I think I want this water to be huh. All right, well, you know, screw the, screw the farming of obsidian. Let me just show you what I, I have decided to do. This is the a little area off from the skeleton farm that I was working on. I think I should throw a couple of torches up here I, until I'm done with this room. I think what I'm gonna do is um, put a lava blade up here for light. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that uh, because I don't want really to any torches down here but I do want to make sure it's lit up because of obvious reasons and I want to use obsidian and I have uh, not made obsidian half slabs yet so you know also I'm running on a, a storage area for the skeleton farm so we made this little passage I'm gonna sneak up here from the obsidian farm you can and the obsidian farm the skeleton farm tech goes down there it's a little it's a little weird um <clears throat> I'm thinking of getting rid of the quartz up here putting a, a um, netherrack fence up there with some lava behind it to light it up I'm not sure I just anti-torch right now so as I back up and turn around the the, the farm so I'm not a hundred percent sure I like the magma blocks is that what that's called my wife thinks that I should add something else blue so I gave the nose of my face here that's a little skelly face oh no we don't want to go portaling um down there with uh, the little blue nose <laughs> And what's this lava stuff dropping? See, when you kill uh, the skeletons and stuff, you get a whole bunch of crap that you don't want. The chainmail. Well, actually, chainmail is something you do want. But um, and so I just look up there and I just throw it in there. That's my trash can, and it's also my light along with these. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe changing this glass to a light blue and doing the same, adding some light blue down there. Um, I kind of like the quartz against obsidian look that's why I made this like that and I just kind of made this a curved thing because that just went along with the cave and eh, I'm not sure if I like it or not but it's yeah we'll see uh, and the rest of the room is made out of the red ne nether uh, I kind of made it so like I was thinking of having it so it looked like the area was 
breaking apart a little bit and I just didn't I couldn't get that I was thinking of maybe changing these the stairs and stuff making it look more broken down I may do that and that's why I have 90 something levels because while I've been working on this these things fill up the maximum yes the cram and entity thing still works but you know there's free XP so might as well grab the XP right look at all these zombies yikes we're gonna funnel these zombies into the gauntlet of zombie death there's a bunch of zombies coming for me oh Come on, get out of here. One of these times it's going to be a creeper and I'll be like, ah, you better not blow up my farm. All right, let's get some sleep. I know there's a spider after me, but yeah, they let me sleep. Last night, the Boston Red Sox, which is my home team town. Yes, I'm from Boston. I pack my car, pack my car. That's actually, I, I do. I can't even do the boxing accent right anymore because I've been, my whole life I wish I never, I worked hard not to have a Boston accent and so I don't pack my car, I park my car. But anyways, they won the World Series. The Boston Red Sox won the World Series last night. Can you imagine that? The Boston Red Sox won the World Series. I lived in Boston. I was part of the curse. I moved away from Boston and seven days later they won their first World Series since 1918. Yes, a little history there. So I'm a huge Boston fan. I um, watched basically 1,500 games in a row over a 10 years, 12 year span. And I'm a huge, huge fan. I kind of got away from it a little bit when I had my daughter because, you know, watch a Red Sox game or play with your daughter. An easy win there for the daughter. So I wanted to do something to commemorate their win. So I think on this wall behind me, I'm gonna make a Boston Red Sox logo and and just so maybe the two socks, you know, or maybe the B. I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. Maybe the B uh -huh, for Boston. But that's what I plan on doing. I plan on uh, making a logo behind me. It's really going to be ugly, and I don't usually do pixel art, but I think for the Red Sox winning the World Series, I have to do something for them. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to finish up the farm below, and I will show you it when it's done. Oh yay! I remembered to hit record. Woohoo! First time! Um, I've been having this constant battle of recording and forgetting to hit record. I changed this room around, guys, with the help of my wife. You see where the mouth. Not my mouth. I mean, you can't see anything. Oh! Okay. I just gave everything away. <clears throat> this used to be all black glass, all black glass, well, black glass, because I, um, you know, wanted to be kind of a dark area for darkness and things. So I, you know, all black glass would was going to be nice and dark. But then I had this blue funnel here, and I'm like every every time I'm like done with a build, I kind of go, Stacy, come here, check this out. What, what what's wrong with this? And she'll be like, Why why do you have that blue there? Just so out of place with everything else. You got red, you got white, and you got like orange and blue. What? So um, I decided to make this area more blue and bring in the water. So I changed all the. The, the glass to this light blue glass and I got rid of the um, what do you call it uh, magma blocks and replaced them with my favorite ore in the whole world which is lapis blocks and they put some lapis blocks and I started using these lava pot lights I was thinking of maybe pushing that one up a little bit more see I did that over here I got the glass and the lava on top of it I might get rid of that put the piece of glass there and put the lava above it and so I uh, finished down this room down here also, and you see I got the lava pots on both sides. And then this is just a small room, um, nice five by five, and it's got the, you know, the lava because, eh, why not? So this is where I'm gonna keep my, my stuff that I get from this skelly farm. Um, and, this is basically done. I mean, I still have that room back there, but I got, oh, I got to put the, uh, up here. I had mentioned it in 
earlier in the video, I was editing and I just said, I realized I mentioned it earlier that I, I was gonna make a skeleton thing. So I might make a 2D skeleton face here. So I know this is a skeleton film or well, I know it's a skeleton farm. I'm the one who made it. Of course it's a skeleton farm, but you know, those who might actually wander onto this world someday and go, what is that? Where, where does this lead? And they don't have to come down here to find out that it leads to the skeleton farm. Because uh, I just said, basically, I'm going to probably release this world for download at some time. So yes, look forward to that probably in a year when I hit episode 50. I mentioned something about Red Sox. Let's go check that out. In three, two, one, go. That is right. We are now standing on a pillar in the desert. Why are we on a pillar in the desert? To get a closer look at the sun? No. The uh, Red Sox logo that I was gonna make for the World Series win was about 25, 30 blocks tall and I decided I wasn't gonna put it in the areas over there. Oh, I can actually see my farms over there. But I have decided to um, take this town here uh, and rename it Bean Town. Yes, that's just right. Bean Town. Because I got the Red Sox. <laughs> Amnesty. When I was out here, like a nincompoop, I thought I logged out of the game. I thought I had logged out, completely logged out, 100%. And then I came back like 10 minutes later and I was dead. And it said, killed by Dawn. What was I killed by? Husk. Husk? No. What are, whatever those things that spawn in a desert. I guess I hadn't logged out, so I had lost everything. Um, but I'm back, kinda. I'm still recovering a little bit, but I uh, was thankfully I, I like to mine in my free time, so I have a crap ton of diamonds, and I just drew this all together, and I have the fishing farm for the books, and I have that skelly farm for for the um, XP, and I had to redo stuff, but that's part of the life. That's part of this game. I hope you like my Red Sox. I hope you like Bean Town. I guess I should enclose it in some sort of fence. Maybe I should make a Bean Monster. I was thinking of making, maybe making a baseball field out here, making this Bean Town completely Bean Town-ish. But it's kind of hard playing baseball all by yourself. That's right. So that's it. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. We are going to do some nether temple writing, killing some blaze, maybe some withers, getting some skulls and stuff and things, and that's next time. Have a great day, guys. Goodbye. Bye-bye.